So to really get the point across about how to deal with section numbering in a multi-page document, I'm gonna go back to file and open and in the same folder, chapter 10, folder one, I have this Hot Wheels catalog that I've already laid out for us. And you could see if I take my zoom tool and option or alt click, we can zoom out a little bit. I've already laid out this document, but notice what I did with these little section tabs, okay? These ones are purple. These ones come in as orange. These ones come in as green. These ones are blue. This section is red. So what I did is made a little table of contents. The red are the new 2007. Well, back when I did this document a long time ago. Um, the red tab are the new 2007 series. The blues are the classics. The greens are the street aces. The orange is the street muscle cars. The purple is the wild original series. So every section is indicated by its own color, but I also want to number each section. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and right here, I'm going to click. I'll just click off to the side and there we go. Now, like I said before, when you're doing section numbering, you don't want to start with a um, spread. So I'm just going to click the page right below that, then click on the page I want to start with. And we'll bring the pages panel back out so we can see this. Click numbering and section options. I'll start that section on page one and I'll click OK. And darn it, that kind of shuffled my pages around. I didn't want to do that. So let's go to edit and undo. And let's try this again. Click. Well, it says allow them to shuffle and allow the, the spread to shuffle. So let's try this one more time. Numbering and section options. Start it on page one. No, that's breaking it up. I don't want that. So let's go to edit and undo. I'm on the page that I want to start with, but let's click here and turn these two off. Let's see if that helps. Click numbering and section options. Start that section at page one. There we go. Okay. I didn't want my pages to all fly around. So there's page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, this one should start at page one. So I'm gonna to click to the right. Again, it selects a spread. So I'm gonna click down below, then click on the page that I wanna start with. I want that to be a page one for the classics series. I'll click the pop-up. Ooh, this got turned on. So let's turn that off again before I start numbering and section options start that section at page one there we go page one two three four five six okay this should be page one again so i'm going to click to the left click down below then click on the page and i believe that little check mark is going to come on again every time i start on a new page let's see Yep. Okay, let's leave that on. Let's just see what happens. Numbering and section options. Start another section at page one. Okay, okay. Okay, I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that worked, so we'll leave it. All right, page one, page two, three, four, five, six, seven should be another page one. So I'm going to click to the left. Click below, click on the page. This guy allows selected spreads, so I'm not pushing both pages, so that's why this one worked. All right, numbering and sections. Start that off on page one. Okay, okay, there we go. Page one, two, three, four. The wild originals should be a page one, so I click on the left. Notice how it's kind of the same thing over and over. Click the page below, click on the page, click the pop-up, numbering again, section starting at number one. Okay, okay. Each and every time, 
and it works each and every time. So there you go. Numbering different color coded sections. The purple starts, the orange starts at one, the greens start at one, the blues start at one, the reds start at one. Awesome. All right. So that's how you deal with page sections again with something that looks a little more believable, like a full catalog. Hope you got the hang of this now.